Hello guys, I'm Sanjay here and welcome back to a new video in which we are going to talk about Resurrection Remix ROM which is present on this Xiaomi Redmi Note 4. So yes, this is the matte black variant of the Redmi Note 4 which has TWRP recovery installed and I have installed Resurrection Remix ROM on this device. If you are wondering how to install the ROM then I'll give the guide in the description box below. I have made a separate video about that too. You can watch that video or you can read the instructions which are given in the description box below. It's quite easy so I'm not going to show you guys how to do that. And it is based on Android version 7.1.1 which is kind of the latest Android version that you can have right now and yes, it is for Redmi Note 4 as I told you guys earlier. So Resurrection Remix ROM is one of the best ROMs that you can have if you want to customize your device because configuration options are endless and, and it will take you a day to go through all these options and all the options are extremely good and completely working on this device too. But before I show you some of the features, let me show you some important thing that is, let me call 1977. So as you can see, I have inserted a Geo SIM card inside this and uh, VOLT is working on the ROM. So that's pretty good thing because on my Xiaomi Redmi Note 3, sometimes VOLT does not work, but on the Redmi Note 4, VOLT is working out of the box. So that's another awesome thing. Let's go into the camera. So let's try to take a picture. So there was a little bit of lag, but that's okay considering this is a ROM. But the photo quality remains to be good, no issues whatsoever. Rare facing video works without any issues. As you can see, I have recorded one video and it works. Even the front facing video works. I recorded this video yesterday. Oh my God, yeah. The... And auto rotation also works if you're wondering about that. Front facing camera works and rear facing camera works too. The camera quality is completely acceptable for a ROM which is not officially supported by MIUI or officially supported by Xiaomi. After this, now let's play a game and let's see how the performance of this game is because with the Snapdragon 625, the performance should be good. And as you can see gaming performance with the Redmi Note 4 and with this particular ROM was good, no problems whatsoever. I tried to play NFS No Limits yesterday and it was working super fine. And as you can see Pixel Launcher is installed on this device and I did not install it manually. It was pre-built into the ROM so that's another nice thing. Google Assistant is also working on this particular ROM. Hi, I'm your Google Assistant. I can help you find what... What's the weather like? Right now in Mumbai it's 24 with smoke. It'll be sunny there today with a forecasted high of 32 and a low of... Who won the elections of Uttar Pradesh? And as this language is set to English US, it did not detect Uttar Pradesh because uh, it's kind of Indian accent, I guess. Who is the president of India? The president of India is Pranab Mukherjee. Who is the prime minister of India? Narendra Modi is the Prime Minister of India. Show me pictures of Alia Bhatt. Pictures of Alia Bhatt, sure. Okay, I guess you got the joke right. So, uh, it's working completely fine. My status bar is completely customized and if you have not seen my Resurrection ROM features review video, then you may not know how to do this. So, in order to do this, go into configurations over here, then select clock customization, select clock style at center, date as hidden because I do not want to see the date, AM PM style as normal. But if you want this data style which is also present in MIUI 8 and will be present in MIUI 9 too, scroll down, select network traffic over here, select outgoing and incoming. If you only want the incoming connections to be shown then you can select that. If you want only outgoing connections to be shown then you can select that. I personally prefer to have outgoing and incoming. What do you prefer? Let me know about that in the poll over here. If we go into recents now, as you can see, it is completely different. And if you want to do this too with your device, then go into settings and go into configuration, go into recents over here and enable use slim recents. From here, I can remove any application like this. 
or if I want to expand it like this, I can do that too. I, I, I want to remove that in this. You can customize it further by selecting slim recent settings and you can select only show running applications. So all the applications which are actually running in the background will be shown and not the applications which are shown in the multitasking tray but actually are not consuming any type of power or any type of RAM. So that's another nice thing. If you do not like that then you can disable this and you will get back to the normal recent apps that we have. Multi window mode is completely working over here. So if I select this application and this application, as you can see multi window mode is working super fine. I can go into settings of this one and do anything. I can resize it or trim it completely. Notification panel can be customized completely. You can change the quick settings toggle menu from here, which is uh, very easy. I do not want to show it to you guys, but you can change the image which is present over here too. So once again, go into configurations, then go into panels over here, select header image pack, and you can select any header that you want. So if I, if you want magic to be shown over here, then this type of image will be shown. You can have something different such as, uh, let's select Google pixels, then this type of notification panel will be shown. And if you do not want anything like this, then disable this option and everything will be gone from. And one more important thing is that the fingerprint sensor is working super fine. So as you can see, the device is locked. And if I unlock it like this with my fingerprint, it works. I will show it to you guys once again. Yes, it works and it unlocks with my voice too. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Uh, it works second time always, but I like I'm okay with that. I'm very happy with the Resurrection Remix ROM which is present on the Redmi Note 4 and it is there are actually near to no bugs in this ROM. If I find any then I'll give a link to those in the description box below. Yes there are few bugs such as LED light is not working for notifications but these bugs will be fixed in the future. There are no major bugs as such which will prevent you from installing this ROM because VOLT is working as I showed you earlier, cameras are working and camera quality is also very good in my opinion. Battery life, I was not able to test it completely but people have showed screenshots by which we can say that battery life is also going to be great on this ROM. And after a few updates, the ROM is going to be very stable and very smooth. So if you are using a Redmi Note 4 right now and if you are confused whether to install any other ROM or Resurrection Remix ROM, then I would suggest you to go with this one because Lot of customization options are present in this ROM as I told you guys earlier and if you do not know how to use all these or if you do not want to scroll through all these and if you want to watch a video then I have already made that video. I'll give a link to that video in the i button over here. Just watch that video. If you are planning to install this ROM on any of your devices like Resurrection Remix ROM then you must watch this video because it's an awesome video, a little bit long video, but all the features are described in detail. So you can come to know which features are very useful for you or if there are any features which are actually helpful for you. So yeah, this is much it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, then just click on this face right now and get subscribed because many more awesome videos like these are going to come real soon on the channel and if you have any doubt sessions or queries regarding this video then let me know about that in the comment section box below or you can ask important doubts or report box on the xdf thread which is linked in the description box below and huge thanks to the developer who is sarthak narang for the rom which i have installed on my device right now so yeah thank you guys thanks for watching